Hey you guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a demo of Recognize Me. Now what this is, is it's a city tweak for any device with a front facing camera, and what it allows you to do is use facial recognition to unlock your phone, or your iPod, or your iPad. Now this is not exactly new, however what is, is the 2.0 update. Now this brought a lot faster recognition, all that kind of good stuff, so let's go ahead and just give you guys a little demo. So all you need to do is unlock your device just like you normally do, but when you slide to unlock, you also have your pen option, but if you want, you can click Recognize Me. And if I get nice and close to the front facing camera, it should recognize my face. So give it just a second here. And there we go. And actually, typically it's faster than that. However, I'm in not quite the perfect position. It's a lot better if you can actually hold it like right, uh, you know, right up to your face as opposed to having to kind of kneel down to it. But you guys can see it does work. Now, there are some options that you should take a look at. So all you need to do is open up the Recognize Me app, and you'll see a few different things here. Now, the most important is to open up the Face Trainer. Uh, now, you will do this once, and it should be all right. But the more times you run this, the better. As you guys can see here, it's already tracked my face, so kind of move around, yeah, it does it pretty well. But one of the major things with doing the face trainer is it allows you to do it in different lighting and stuff. So if you guys know like how face, facial recognition and stuff goes, uh, of course, if you look at my face now, if I turn off the light to my side, you know, it's going to look very different. There's going to be a lot of shadows. So well, the best way to do it is to train it in several places. So, you know, three or four times, you know, maybe one in sunlight, one in the darkness, that kind of stuff. But once you're ready to do it, and it's not quite perfect since I've got a camera in my way, but I'll just see what we can do here. There we go, hit train. It's going to capture my face a few different times here. And it's going to create biometrics, which sounds very exciting. Uh, but basically what it's doing is it's taking those pictures of my face, it's cropping them down, and it's kind of adding it to the database, which I can actually show you guys in one second here once it's done. So we can click back and go into the training sets. You guys can see here I've done it quite a few times, but we just open this one up. There you go. So those are six pictures that took you know, with my mouth a little bit different, eyes, this, that. And what it does is it kind of brings them all together so when you ready, are ready to do the facial recognition, it's able to better recognize your face in lots of different areas. Uh, now, there also are also a couple of things here. So for example, settings. If it's not recognizing your face enough, you can kind of adjust it. Uh, but I'd really just leave it at the default of 70%. It works pretty well. And you also do have auto start. So as soon as you uh, slide to unlock, instead of you know having to pull your pin number up, it will just automatically come up. However, that's a little bit buggy right now. Uh, it kind of actually crashed my springboard a couple times. So uh, to be honest, I would just leave that off until they get it fixed. Of course, sometimes facial recognition can be pretty easy to fool. So let's go ahead and just give this a shot. I of course have just a printed out picture of myself from one of my videos. So let's see if it falls for this. So we'll unlock it, slide to unlock, and hit recognize me. And instead hold the picture of me up. Let's see if it's going to take it. Uh, it's scanning the face, so it recognizes it. And it should be me, but it's not really working. So let's take it down. And if I get here, and it should recognize me. There we go. So overall, it's a pretty cool little tweak. Uh, now, personally, I think that you can just put your pen in faster, but it's something that's kind of cool if you don't want to bother trying to remember a pen or you just want to show off to your friends or whatever. It's a pretty cool little city of tweak, and it will run you about three bucks in the city of store. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up, and if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.